Without a doubt, God Valley is the most important flashback in the entire history of One Piece, at least for now, and at least for the new pirate era, because we will still have to see the flashback of the Void Century. Every legendary pirate and marine was there, and a lot of big mysteries are connected to this island. In a few chapters, we will finally get all the answers that we have been waiting for for years. The reason this flashback started is Kuma's past. Bartholomew Kuma is one of the most mysterious characters in One Piece. Kuma is is the only known person to be affiliated with pirates, the Revolutionary Army, the World Government, and the Shichibukai. He was also known as a tyrant, but beloved by his people. Later, Kuma became the first complete pacifista cyborg and gave up his mind to become a slave for the Celestial Dragons. We can all see how absurd this sounds. The Egghead arc is Kuma's arc. We saw him leaving the base of the Revolutionary Army all of a sudden. Then we saw him at Mary Joey's, and now he is probably heading to Egghead Island. But why? At Egghead, we saw that there is a room for Kuma's memories, another mysterious ability of Kuma's powerful devil fruit. I believe it will be the key to an incident that will shock the whole world. In conclusion, Kuma is one of the most interesting side characters with a significant role in the plot, and I am happy that we will finally see the true story of this character. Even his race is mysterious. In chapter 1095, it was revealed that Kuma is the last member of the Buccaneer race. Buccaneers are a race of humanoids taller than ever average humans, but smaller than giants. Buccaneers are said to have committed a great crime against the world in the past, due to which they are forced to hide from the world government to avoid persecution. Zunesha is another character who is said to have committed a crime in the past. He carries the island of Zao on his back as punishment. Zunesha was affiliated with Joy Boy 800 years ago, so I believe that anyone who helps Joy Boy somehow is considered to be a criminal. The same goes for the Buccaneer race. Even the legend of the sun god Nika has been passed down in Buccaneer folklore for many generations. Kuma admired Nika for his whole life, and Nika was probably the only hope in his life for a long time, so I can't wait before Kuma sees Luffy in his Nika form at Egghead. In chapter 1095, we also saw Ivankov and Ginny. Most likely Ginny is Bonnie's mother, but she could be Luffy's mother or a new character. We still need confirmation. I hope her future will be shown, and most likely, as with all mothers in One Piece, she died as well. But how did she, Ivankov, and Kuma escape from God Valley? There are only two options since they were just kids at the time. I think there is a chance that Kuma ate his Nikyu Nikyu no Mi at God Valley, and he managed to save himself and his friends with his devil fruit powers. Another option is that someone saved them. Who is connected to Ivankov and Kuma? Monkey D. Dragon, of course. There are theories that Monkey D. Dragon was a marine, and after he saw the corrupt side of the world government, he quit and became a revolutionary. God Valley is the perfect place for Dragon to change his view. Also, it would explain his connection to Kuma and Ivankov, but how can we explain all the overpowered devil fruits that the participants of God Valley have? Kuma, Whitebeard, Kaido, Shiki, Sengoku, maybe Dragon, and more. We saw six treasure boxes at God Valley. Many, including myself, think that there are six devil fruits in these chests. For now, this is probably the biggest new mystery, so I hope Oda will reveal the truth soon. Another mystery that revolves around the treasure chests is Shanks's childhood. It's stated that Shanks was found in a treasure box by Roger Pirates when Shanks was just a baby. At God Valley, Shanks was one year old, but how did he get in a chest? The most logical reason would be that Figurlin Garling, Shanks' father, tried to keep Shanks safe and put him in one of those six chests, but it got lost during the war. Where was Shanks' mother at the time? Is she alive? I don't think we will get much information about Shanks' mother from Oda, but let's hope for the best. It's known that Monkey D. Garp allied with Goldie Roger and the Roger Pirates to fight Rock's Pirates and ultimately succeeded in defeating Rock's D. Zebek. But why did Roger Pirates go to God Valley in the first place? Or why did they help the Marines protect the Celestial Dragons? We know that Garp and Roger had a good relationship and their alliance is not very surprising, but the alliance must have a reason to work together. Was Rock's D. Zebek so strong and dangerous? Probably the the biggest mystery of God Valley is Rox D. Zebek. We might even be talking about the strongest character in One Piece. He was the captain of Kaido, Big Mom, Whitebeard, and other strong characters. Zebek was considered to be the first and most formidable rival of the Pirate King, Goldie Roger. Aside from raw strength, Rox seemed to be a very intelligent and knowledgeable man, as he unraveled many of the world government's secrets by studying many subjects considered taboo. This led the government to decide to erase his name from history following his defeat. The good thing is that everything will be revealed about Zebek in a few chapters. Another mystery involves Blackbeard's connection to Zebek. 
Blackbeard has a ship named Saber of Zebek, and he resides on Hachinosu Island where the Rox pirates were formed. Both are from the D clan. Rox knew a lot of things that were considered taboo, just like Blackbeard knows many unusual things such as how to steal devil fruits. Luffy is like Roger, while Blackbeard is probably like Zebek. Blackbeard was two years old at God Valley. What if Teach was there as well? I don't think Blackbeard will have a role in this arc, but I believe Zebek will reveal some information that will be useful to understand some things around Black. Beard. Another mysterious character and the champion of God Valley is Figurlin Garling. We will still have to see his real powers. He is the leader of the Holy Knights, so he must be very strong. I believe he got a devil fruit at God Valley, one from those six treasure chests. Did Figurlin Garling actually cut Whitebeard? When Shanks and Whitebeard met in chapter 434, Whitebeard mentioned that the wound he got from that guy aches whenever he looks at Shanks' face, and we saw that Shanks looks a lot like young Garling. I do hope Oda will draw a panel of Whitebeard and Garling's clash. Whitebeard is also another character that I think ate a devil fruit on this island. When he was a member of the Rox Pirates, Roger's biggest rival was Rox D. Zebek. However, after God Valley, Roger's opponent became Whitebeard. There were other strong characters, and of course, Whitebeard is strong even with without his devil fruit, but it seems to me that he underwent some kind of power-up after the God Valley incident. I believe he ate the Gura Gura no Mi, the strongest Paramecia devil fruit at God Valley and became even stronger. After the God Valley incident was over, the entire island vanished without a trace. Even Sengoku has no clue as to what exactly happened to it. It is believed that either the world government wiped out its existence using something akin to what they call the Great Cleansing, or Kaido, who has the power to lift islands, took God Valley with him. Another possibility is the ancient weapon Uranus, but for now, we have no clue. In chapter 1095, we also saw Saturn at God Valley. Probably other elders were there as well. I doubt that they fought in this war and showed their real forms, but I also don't think that they just ran away. The last thing I want to talk about is Mihawk. This is more like a theory than a mystery. We saw that Figurlin Garling killed the king of God Valley. This king looks a lot like Vlad III, also known as Vlad Dracula. His wife has a very similar hat to Mihawk's. What if Shanks' father was responsible for the death of Mihawk's father? Later, Mihawk might have decided to become the greatest swordsman and seek revenge on Garling. Perhaps this was also the reason why his duels with Shanks began. Initially, Mihawk aimed to kill Shanks, but as he came to realize that Shanks has no connection or similarity to Garling, except for their shared bloodline, Mihawk began to see Shanks as his dueling partner. Also, it would be very interesting to see this being the reason why Mihawk was called the Marine Hunter before becoming a warlord. He was taking his rage out on the people who protected the celestial dragons that caused his homeland to disappear. This is a bit of a stretch, of course, but I still wanted to talk about it. If you want to see how Mihawk became the greatest swordsman, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching. Bye.